Hi guys, I'm Katie's other mom and I am safe, which I wanna show you first, but I'm not gonna talk with this on. All right, today we're gonna to do an art project. And this is one of the things I used to do with the kids. So I put a piece of paper down so I wouldn't ruin the table. But basically this is a super easy, super fun scribble project. So if you don't know what you wanna do, you literally just take a pen, I don't know if I like this pen, and you make a scribble. And then you look at the scribble and you say, what can I do with that scribble? And you have to let your creativity, like you might see shapes in it, you might. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a scribble project. I made a sample to show you because um, this is just such a great thing to do if you're bored or you don't have anything to do. I used to do this with Katie all the time. So you see, I just made that scribble. And then I'm gonna start coloring what I think it looks like. So I think, for instance, this scribble looks like a cat. So I'm gonna draw a cat nose and mouth and two eyes. Can you guys see a cat in here? And the little ear tips. In fact, this can be my cat, Kiki. So see, this became a cat. Or let's get rid of this one and do another one, even better. Now I'm gonna use a thicker marker. This, I like thicker markers. This is gonna make it even better because it's gonna look like stained glass. So look at this. Now what could that be? Oh boy, that one is a hard one. I'm gonna say that this one is a water drop. So I'm gonna start coloring. See how this is a water drop? It doesn't have to be super perfect. I mean, one of the things about art that makes me um, so happy is there aren't any rules so if anybody tries to teach you art and tells you there's rules, they're not teaching you the right way. I hope that doesn't let's contradict. Do so let's do an orange balloon. So you literally can just color. Another thing about this kind of scribble art, I'm gonna add a tail so that it really looks like a balloon. There we go, that's a balloon. Um, is that you can put it up in your window like this. Can you see this, Susie? And it looks like a piece of stained glass because the light shines through it. So now I'm gonna do another one that's gonna be, and this is just little inexpensive. This is like typewriter paper. So you should have this laying around the house. If you don't, it's super cheap. Susie, Katie might be able to help you find some. So I'm gonna do one more circle. I don't like that circle. It has to be something you want to draw on, so don't be afraid to, actually, I don't want to waste. Let me turn it over. I'm going to do this one. All right, this one is going to be, what does this look like to you, Susie? Um, it looks like a face with a big balloon hair, like a poofy hair. Ah, all right, so this lady, is gonna have <laughs> wild hair. <laughs> this is what we call big hair. I know that Susie was thinking that all of this was not hair, but that the big part was the hair, but I'm kicking it up a notch and making sure that her hair goes from orange, because I know that my daughter Katie loves multicolor hair. So I'm gonna show you this one. Then I'm gonna make her blonde. All right. And then I'm gonna make her redhead like Susie. So see what this kind of shows is that you can also, you can almost make anything out of anything. 
And are there mistakes, Mama Chris? There aren't any mistakes, but sometimes, you know, if you're not feeling it like this, this was a little scribbly and I just thought, mm, I don't really want to work with that. But I'm going to, you know what, let me grab the cat because I really like this cat. I think this has potential. I'm going to make a red cat. So she has a white face and a red body. And then a red tail. So you don't even have to stay in the lines. If the lines aren't even aren't in a place that you want it, just change the shape of the thing. But see, you can have so much fun doing this. And what we used to do with our kids is we would dare them to do something. So I'll show you another one. Should I do that fold up one? Sure. That we used to do, or is that too weird? That's fine. All right, I'm gonna show you how we used to do with Katie when she was little. Because this one is very interesting and you can do it by yourself. But it's more, this one is better to do with other people. Because what you do is you say first, draw a face. So then, or the top of a head. So then somebody draws the top of a head like this. And then I'm gonna have it be this kind of hair. So you would think mine's a bald, a guy with weird hair, right? But then you hide it. And then you tell the next person, but you have to continue the lines so they see what they're connecting to. So how did you do that, Mama Chris? Can you show me? Well, I just did like that. So that when you fold it, you can see that it, I should continue it. All right? Yep. So then the next person, because now I know I drew that, but pretend I didn't. I decide I want this to be a beautiful lady. So I'm gonna draw a beautiful lady with nice fancy earrings and a nice long neck and she's gonna be fancy lady. So then you tell the next, then you continue that and get it ready for the next person. And then all they see is this. And you say, okay, that's the neck of someone. What kind of person is it? And somebody might go, oh, I think that's a giraffe. And do legs and a body and something like that. And then make little spots all over it, how giraffes have. Giraffe's my favorite animal, so. And then, when you're all done with the drawing, you go, let's see what we drew. <laughs> and you drew a giraffe lady bald man. So see, it's not about how perfect it is, it's just about having some fun with it. So what else, Susie? Well, what is kind of enough? tools did you use? Just so they so know. I use, when I, I really didn't have any stuff when I was a kid. So all I had around the house was some typing paper and some, I think I had some old broken crayons back in the day. I love the way crayons look, so I bought myself this fancy set. Um, so I have crayons, but I also have colored pencils you can use. You can use color markers. You can use almost anything. And see, it's good I put this piece of paper under because the ink's going through it would have gotten on the, on the paper. So let's do one last one that is gonna be a different, I'm gonna show you more fluid shapes. So this one, I think this one, ooh, that's pretty, is beautiful. I might not want this one to be anything. I might just color in this one. I actually think this one could be a lot of things. It kind of looks like Cinderella's big fancy coach with the big pumpkins. Or it could be an oceany scene with the sun setting behind it. But um, I think that you can do stuff like 
just make it pretty. So, and another thing you can do if you like to blend colors, I don't know if you guys have learned about blending colors yet, but one of my favorite things to do is to blend colors. So, you know, a really nice combination is reds and blues because it makes purple. So I might move over here now and do a little bit of red. So anyway, I hope this gives you some fun ideas of things that you can do. This isn't my best coloring, Katie will tell you. I'm a fancy colorer, but not on a time frame. And then you can add, you know, another color somewhere else. So you can just do designs. It doesn't need to be anything. If you can't see anything, like literally, if all this looks like to you is scribbles, that's okay too. Everybody sees things differently. There's not, you know, don't let somebody tease you like, oh, that's a cat. It's like, you might not see a cat. You might see something else, or you might see, sometimes I just see patterns and colors. Anyway, hopefully this is about how to have some fun with art. That's really easy. Oh, and look, this is a picture that I always have at my office of Katie and I. And that's her brother who was very serious when he was born. And that's Katie who was a little goofball. She was the happiest baby there ever was. Anyway, bye guys. Hope this is fun.